Hey, what's going on, people? It's Guns Rire from Next Gen Tactics, and yes, I'm playing Mortal Kombat. I've actually been looking forward to playing a fighting game, if you've been following. I did an IRL where I was like, oh yeah, you know, Mortal Kombat's coming out. This is like a old-school 2D-style fighting game, and I actually was looking forward to this. And I know by the way I'm sounding now, it's like I was disappointed, but I'm not. No, I'm not. I was actually having a lot of fun playing this. And I couldn't wait to actually play Scorpion, which is one of the players that I used to always use. Uh, and I always remember, get over here! And I couldn't wait to thrust that spear or whatever the hell it was. I think it was the spear. Like that. Oh, look at him. He's blocking it. No, I couldn't wait to pull that off. No matter what, I just, I just wanted to do that. I was like, yeah! But uh, anyway, this game, I mean... The movement's tight, the sound is great, um, it's super, super gory, which is great, because it's a fighting game, for God's sakes. This isn't, you know, how to ride a pony game. It's supposed to be violent. After all, you're beating the crap out of someone. That's the objective. And uh, it's a lot of fun, I have to say. I mean, the, the main thing here f for me to do an actual full review, however, uh, is really hinging on the multiplayer. It's all good and, you know, and well and everything in terms of playing this demo here, which lets you play, I think, about three or four levels. Uh, and yes, I do repeat a lot. I mean, after all, I don't know all the moves. I didn't have a lot of time to sort of practice. The main thing is, you usually, in these kind of games, you find a character that you really like. You'll learn all the combos. You'll learn everything. And then you get really good at the game. Here, I mean, I just know a few, a few moves, so that's what I'm sort of concentrating on. Really kind of avoiding any evasion, uh, you know, what I think is uh, on the PlayStation anyway, it's the R, R1, I think it's R1, no, no, R2, R2 is the, uh, the sort of block, the evasion or whatever blocking defense, oh, look at that, and the fatalities, yeah, I wasn't even looking there for a second there, I forgot to, uh, to mention that, the finishing moves for fatalities, and the, I only know the one, I can't get the other one to work properly, again, I don't have a lot of uh, practice with this, um, but they're super gory, like, I mean, they are super cool. When you finish someone off in these, I mean, they're just, I don't know, man, there's just something pretty cool about it. Anyway, this is fun. Totally brought me back to the old days playing Mortal Kombat. Um, personally, myself, I was always a huge, huge Tekken fan. I've mentioned that before as well. And I do prefer the sort of more 3D environments of Tekken. I find, like, the side parry coupled with all the other moves I just find it to be a lot a lot better but the simplicity of Mortal Kombat actually adds to you know one of the the nostalgic sort of elements of it which is great for old school gamers but it's also easier for everyone else to pick up when you've got side parries and everything like that which you have in Virtua Fighter and Tekken it does make the game a heck of a lot more complicated whereas in here it's more like a Street Fighter style and these characters here are great. In the end though, I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually show it to you, but um, they do show a little bit of some glimpses of the other game types, like fun little games that you can do in here, uh, single player. They're gonna be fun, but here's the thing. You're gonna get bored of those games really fast, like these little parlor games where you gotta smash things or, you know, watch. You gotta, like, there's a, a, a game in the end where it's kinda like, you know, put the ping pong ball under three cups and someone swirls around the three cups on the table really fast and you gotta guess where it's under and if you guess wrong, then someone comes and puts an ax in your head or cuts your head off or something like that. I mean, it's clever, but you're gonna get bored of those games really fast. The key element here, again, it's the same with the, uh, with the single player. I mean, you're gonna go through it once or twice, but that's it. I mean, once once you've gone through it with your, all your characters on the hardest difficulty, well, here's the finishing move again. Violent, super violent, and disgusting. <laughs> so once you've gone through them all, you know, it, it, you'll get bored. So the, the main thing here is actually, this is a great game for when your buddies are over. I mean, you're talking about old school sort of couch, couch style, you know, you sit there, you each have a controller and you play. This is a perfect game for that. And this is exactly sort of why it brings back memories with me because that's exactly what I used to do and give them the beat down. However, nowadays it's all about internet connectivity, being able to play someone multiplayer around the world. You know what I mean? Going outside of your couch and your home and playing people with way more skill. Because personally, uh, and no offense guys if you're watching this, 
But my old friends, when I, when I used to play them, I would, you know, rip them a new one consistently. And after a while, they just, you know, they got tired of playing it. They'd ha have fun, but, you know, I'd always be a tryhard and, and learn how to do all the multi-combos and stuff like that. And in this one here, I haven't learned any of them. The key in a game like this, in order to be very, very successful in Mortal Kombat, and I'll give you a tip right now before you even play it, and by the way, this is a, I'm a PlayStation Plus member, that's why I actually am able to play this game. But the, the, the key to actually being very successful, which is what the other uh, player is doing to me right now, it's called juggling. When you're able to juggle a player, which means keeping them in the air, once you start hitting them up and you juggle them, you're able to sustain hits. So once you've got them in the air, you keep them in the air and keep hitting them and use whatever special abilities you, your character has, and that will enable you to actually do tons and tons of damage to your opponent. Now, many of the fighting games, you can imagine with, uh, you know, first-person shooter games, the lag and how that can affect you. In a first-person shooter game, when it's critical and timing is everything and it's so ultra-fast, lag is a game killer. So it's very important that, um, that Mortal Kombat, that the multiplayer, the online multiplayer, is tight. It has to be fixed. I, you know, I anticipate there's going to be problems in the beginning, but for those that really want to get into this game, you got to give them time to patch it up. It's going to happen. There's going to be there's going to be issues. There's no way that, way that most of these companies can predict the problems that they're going to have on there. Yes, I know I say that time and time again we see the same things, but I mean with with fighting games here, it's you know it's very very difficult to to find that perfect balance, you know what I mean? Because these are like split second decisions that's you, that you make, and if there's any lag in there, you're in a lot of trouble, you know what I mean? So anyway, it is a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to playing the online multiplayer. The game itself is great. I'm not gonna show you anything else beyond this. There's one more fight, and then they show um, all the other types of games that are actually involved, and I wanna leave some sort of secrets for when you, you can actually play the demo as well. But it is pretty damn cool. I really enjoyed it. Uh, and when the multiplayer, the full game comes out, maybe I'll show you another demo of it. Anyway, that's it. I'm Guns for Hire from Next Gen Tactics. And you're not going to be able to see me. I just, you know, I can't beat up this woman. She's too sexy. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, she's, she's disgusting. She chews on your face. But anyway, um, that's it. Before I start giving this, this woman a beat down, look at that. Damn. All right, that's it. I'm done. Bye. Hey, guys, we now have our own website. Actually, we've always had our own website, but why not follow us on there? There you'll find all our videos conveniently sorted into playlists by game, as well as videos from many other directors that are part of our NGT network. And here you can create subscriptions for individual games and only receive notifications for new videos uploaded for the games that you are subscribed to. Isn't that fantastic? No more spam video email notifications. And stay in touch with us on our full featured forums. Remember, all the relevant links are always in the description of our videos. Click on them. Come join us on our website. We'll see you there.